Hello and welcome to Flucatronic. Up today we're going to do an unboxing video on my latest whistle. This is a Carboni A flat, which is an unusual key. Uh, and there's a couple of other unusual things about this whistle that we'll be looking at. But I picked this up uh, from the holiday sale from uh, Mr. Gray Larson. You can buy these from direct from the uh, Carboni.com website. Uh, but Mr. Larson has an arrangement with uh, the carving maker, uh, Rob Gandera, I believe is how you say his name. And there's a couple of um, interesting things that you can get that are not listed on the main website. Okay, so here's uh, how it comes. You get a, uh, just a plastic bag and also a little whistle bag. That's pretty cool. Uh, and a fingering chart. So this is considered a low whistle, even though it's an A flat. I think most folks, it's kind of on the border between alto and low, I guess. Um, a flat fingering chart. So, yeah, let's see if we can see that. So you get a little chart that gives you the Fingerings and a concert pitch of the notes. Now, just scanning this, the first time I've looked at this, so just scanning this, um, trying to look if there's anything weird here. So, the, the top line is just your standard diatonic notes. I'm not really seeing anything weird there until maybe you get up at the very top. Um, third octave kinds of notes, which I'm not going to get that high anyways, <laughs> probably. Um, and then the uh, cross fingers. So we'll, I'll study that later, see if there's any intricacies, but hey, let's just uh, give it a whirl. So here we go. Good size. First blow on the carbony, carbon fiber. Oh, I guess we'll say that. That's kind of the big selling point of these. Carbon fiber material, almost unbreakable, very lightweight. Let's see what happens. I'm a little, little trouble there with the first blow, just finding the finger holes. <laughs> Some of those odd notes were just um, not having the finger holes well covered. Let's try that again. So goes all the way up. Give it a little bit more breath at the top there. Um, let's try a few cross finger things. Half holes and cross fingers. I need some practice. This is uh, why I don't do unboxing videos very often because uh, it does take some time to get used to it. But now let's come to um, the reason I wanted to get this from the Gray Larson site instead of direct from Carboni is that Gray has a uh, some kind of arrangement um, with Carboni that offers back some holes. What those are good for is that the bottom hole is intended to give you that minor third on the bottom. So if this were a C whistle, it would be the E flat note. Um, D whistle it would be the F natural note. 
and on the top is supposed to give you the flatted seventh, which on a C whistle would be B flat or the C natural on a D whistle. So obviously you have to keep those closed when, pl when not playing those notes or you'll get something else weird. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see how that works. So we're gonna go like a C, D, E flat, kind of a you know, A flat minor on this one. Let's see how that works. That's not it. There you go. So your fingering is, um, say the D note, and then you're gonna just release the thumb to get that E flat. And that is a lot easier to get than trying to half hole that um, that note. I mean, obviously it is possible to roll into that E flat, but hard to hit it um, quick and in tune. And same with the upper hand, so let's try going from a G, A, B flat. And if I try to half hold that, I was opening the bottom hole at the same time. That's why it was going up weird. So there's there's probably some alternate fingerings. Uh, maybe those are on the chart too with with the bottom the bottom hole. But again, if you're trying to play normal notes, you you got to keep that um, keep it closed. So here would be the normal uh, flat of seventh. And then with the uh, thumb hole. So that's the reason I got it was uh, to have th that option just to see what it was about and if I can uh, make use of that in some of my music um, and I'm sure I will. So um, let's take a quick comparison to a couple of other uh, whistles in my collection. Let's see, that's an A, A flat G. So let's um, Shearwater A on uh, my right, your left, Carboni in the middle. And on your right is a G from Nick Metcalf. So you can see this is obviously a wooden whistle, much larger bore. Um, it's going to be very similar in terms of finger spacing, size, bore size, all that. It's probably closest to this A whistle. I um, guess we could also see how it compares to this G whistle. Let's see, this is a um, Thunderbird, Chieftain Thunderbird. So you can see hole spacing is a lot more comfortable than that G even. Let's just do a quick sample of how it compares with, um, this is probably the closest, closest one I've got. This is the uh, Shearwater A. A flat. So a little bit louder than the sheer water, maybe a little less breathy from playing position. So um, yeah, that's uh, basically it for the unboxing. Uh, we'll be 
seeing what we can do in terms of cover tunes or original music with this guy and making good use of those thumb holes. So yeah, just out of the box. Um, very glad to add this to my collection and I'm sure it'll come in very handy and uh, uh, useful uh, coming up here soon. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time on Flukatronic. Bye.